Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a mat from a black and white clip to create a transition. Now, it sounds a little bit complex, but basically let me break this down for you. What we're gonna be doing is we have ourselves a black and white clip right here. All it is is just, just emulating a change. So you see that it starts off as black, and by the end it's white using some sort of animation to get from the first point to the last point. And so what we're gonna be using is we're going to be taking that and then transforming it into an actual transition. So you see that now all of the stuff that was black is the bottom scene, all the stuff that was white is the top scene, and we get this transition to go over here. And this opens up sort of a world of possibilities because now we can sort of create our own transitions. We can download transitions offline um, as all we need is black and white going from you know all black to all white or all white to all black in any way, shape, or form, and we can have a transition through that. So let's get started on how we are going to actually change this black and white into a transition. First thing we need to do is just get ourselves a new sequence like so, and then just go ahead and find our footage, drag that in, and then let's go ahead and just disattach the audio. It gets a little messy. You can hold Alt key to disattach it like so. Just clicking on it and deleting it. And then now let's go into a point where we're gonna transition. So maybe it starts off right here, and now we wanna transition it right here like so. So we're just going to go ahead and put the clip that we want to transition to on top. And maybe let's uh, drag this forward a little bit like so. And then we want to leave a track in between. And what that's going to be, what the track in between is going to be, is it's going to be our black and white. So I have this uh, layer here called transition right here. And you'll see that it, all it is is just all of these transitions. I just found this on YouTube. I believe they are all PowerPoint transitions, but they're all black and white, which means they're all going to work. And we can choose really any one we want in here. So let's say that instead of the up and down bars, we wanna do the side to side bars. We can scale this up as well to make it a little bit easier to see, like so. Uh, but whenever we do it, it's actually gonna scale it by itself. So we just need to make it bigger so that we can see it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from that point. So in this scenario, it's going to be starting from white. So we're going to go from white, and then we're just going to move until the transition is done, until it's at the next color, which is black. We're gonna create a cut there as well. And then now we have our transition. Starts on white, goes to black, and then it's done. We're gonna take that, and we're gonna drop it right under this footage. So now we have our top footage, we have our bottom footage, and then between we have our transition footage. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here into effects. We wanna search for an effect called set matte. We're gonna click on that, grab it, and throw it onto the top right here. And so we wanna put it onto the top layer, not the bottom layer, the top layer right here. And now what we wanna do is we want to select the video that we're gonna be grabbing a matte from, and we want to use matte. We don't use alpha channel. So alpha channel would be some more professional ones. They'll come like this. Um, and the black will actually not just be a color, it'll be an absence of any data at all. And that's for the alpha channel. We don't have that, this is just you know downloaded offline. The black is actually the black color. So what we're going to do is instead of using the alpha channel, we are going to use the luminance channel. And the reason that I'm making this go invisible is because this is gonna be sitting in the background, but we don't want, we just want the information from it. We don't want it actually represented this effect right here is going to grab all the information for us. So we just need to make it you know, disappear so that it'll work the way that we want to. And now you'll notice we have our transition going right here, or actually we need to go ahead and turn on the top layer again. And you'll see that we have our transition going right here. Now the problem is that by default, what I just did was I ended the invert mask, which is on. By default, it's usually the inverse mask is not checked. And that is a problem in this situation because it's gonna create a useless transition. You'll see that we have the bottom layer, then it immediately cuts to the top layer and transitions back down to the bottom layer. We don't want that to happen. What we need to do is invert that change. So we're gonna click right here. And now all of the, let's see, the all of the whites is going to be the bottom layer and all the black is going to be the top layer and we're going to go ahead and transition into the top layer like so. In this situation, the transition works out great. It just moves on and we can continue on with you know just wherever we want. However, sometimes if, we're, if we have a bottom here where it is transitioning from white to black, um, so you can see in this situation that we have the white and it's gonna be transitioning over into the black right here. If we drop both of these down, it transitions over into the black. 
if it's the inverse, so if it starts black and it transitions over into the white, whenever we get to this point right here, when the transition ends, it's actually gonna jump back down to the bottom one. To fix that is really, really simple. All you need to do is just go ahead and cut right here, and then on the right side, just delete the set matte. And that'll make it so that it's no longer looking at nothing, it's just not even using set matte, and it's you know continuing on with the top uh, footage here. But that is how you use a black and white piece of footage to create a transition. And you'll notice that even though that the bottom right here is completely and totally, you know, sort of off, uh, it's a square when the top one is a rectangle, it was really, really tiny. This is actually smart enough that it stretches the mat to fit this. So we can really use any size and it's going to create the mat, uh, the, the mat that works for us. That is how you use a black and white transition to, you know, add it onto your footage and make it into an actual transition using set and mat. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.